Hi, I'm Christian Svitak, and we're going to be talking about some of my covers today. I guess we'll start with this one right here. This was a uh, slap 2001 September, I believe. A um, little background story on this was um, this hub alledge is, was, is still in Encinitas. I don't think it's skatable anymore. But um, at the time, we were filming for Label Kills, the first Black Label video. And um, I was familiar with this ledge because um, I had seen Jim Greco had recently done a blunt slide down it in Baker. I don't know the name of the video, Baker 2G or something. And <clears throat> when I was filming for Label Kills, um, I think that video had just come out before Label Kills. And I really liked it. And I would watch um, Baker 2G like before I would go out and film just to get, you know, hyped up to skate. And obviously Greco's part was one of my favorites on it. So um, I am not really good at blunt slides, regular blunt slides as well. But front blunts, it was just always a trick that I've had for a long time. I don't know why. And then also um, somebody else did something too. Like maybe Barty had done something down it or I don't know. Anyways, um, I also was in contact with Joe Brooke, photographer for Slap. And Joe... I don't, remember, I don't think it was a plan to be a cover, but I remember Joe making special plans to come down from San Francisco to shoot this photo. And so Joe got on a plane, came down, so we were like, all right, let's go do this. And um, I remember just like losing my mind. Like this ledge, is, it's super steep. Like, I can tell that. I, I, yeah, I guess maybe you can tell in the photo, but when you're really there, it is super steep. And when you come off that bottom here, it's still like pretty high off the ground. And anyways, um, I remember being there with a crew of friends and I was, man, I was so scared to jump into that first front blunt. And Barty had showed up. And I think Barty was going to like, Maybe he 5 0 it or something. He wanted to film something on it. So we were skating it together. And maybe he wasn't feeling the trick he was going to try. Or I don't know. Anyways, he was... I remember distinctly like him getting in the car ready to leave. And I was just like, damn, man. I was like, all right, Barty, I got to I gotta jump into this before you leave. You know what I mean? So uh, I just remember Barty and whoever he was with in the car like trying to hype me up as they were leaving. And then I, I finally like jumped into the, my first front blunt. And the thing with front blunts with me is sometimes they would be really scary to jump into for, for the first time. But usually after I would get in it, like after I could just get in that first one, um, I can do them pretty quick. And I, I remember it, it's only took me, it took me a while to get the courage to jump into it. But I, I think it's like after I got locked in that first one, I think I rode away like, six or seven tries later or something like that. So this was my um, Trans World cover, May 2003. This photo was shot by Ed Dominic. He was my team manager on 88 Footwear. Um, it was a gap out to 5.0 down this handrail. And um, the thing that I've always loved about this photo was the fact that I was riding my this is my old black label model Lucero gave to me, and it was the, the anti-Nazi board, right? So I was just really excited to have that graphic like on the cover of a magazine. I mean, to this day, I just feel like that's, um, I, don't, I don't know, I'm just, I'm kind of proud to have that on the cover of a magazine. Oh, yeah. But one story I need to tell about this is I always give so much credit to Dave Swift because I'm pretty sure this cover came down to Dave Swift's... Um, his approval his approval right and um i remember dave telling me that after this came out he got emails from people giving him a lot of like grief that there was a swastika on the mm -hmm. cover of a skateboarding magazine but dave saw it the way i did like this is an anti an anti-nazi graphic like how can you be upset about that but people were just upset that there's a swastika on it but um i don't know if i can make any have made any kind of a a statement with my skateboarding I, I'm very proud of that graphic and I've always been very proud to have the anti-nazi graphic on the cover of a skateboarding magazine
So this was my automatic cover. I don't even know. Kevin, do you know what year this was? No, we don't. Really I don't know. know. This was, well, judging by, I was skiing for 88. This was probably like 2003, 2004. This is a, a big set of stairs at this church in downtown Cleveland. Um, I always kind of wanted to do something more down it, but this was done like, this was like on a trip. It was late at night and we just kind of, I did the Ollie just for kind of like photo aesthetics, you know? But um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a set of stairs. Like I have some friends that have done cooler things than Ollie down this, but um, again, it's just one of those things like we were on a trip back in Cleveland at night and it was, let's just get a photo of a big Ollie. Is that Ed Dominic as well? Yeah, yeah, sorry. This was an Ed Dominic photo. photo. Also, my he was my team manager on 88 Footwear. And this was my For the Crew cover. And um, year... You know, my eyes are so bad, Kevin. Do you know what year that was? No, after this one. This, this is like... Oh, 2009. Okay. So 2009... Yeah, I'm riding a 1031 board at the time. So I was in the middle of doing my own company. Um... The thing I love about this cover is this was shot by um, my old best friend, um, the late Matt Macaro. And one thing I love, I know this probably drives like a lot of photographers crazy, but I love it. But Matt's shadow is actually down there. And I know a lot of people will be like, I can't believe the photographer has his shadow in it, but I love it. He, you know, he passed away. So when I look at this cover, I just think about all the times him and I have gone out shooting photos and. I'd love to see Matt's shadow right there. Christian, what's one of your favorite covers from uh, from over the ages? That's really that's really hard for me to answer because I'm not I'm not really good at I, I can't really remember a single cover that I always thought was my favorite. Um, I would say definitely anybody that had a cover from the late '80s. I I just love all those photos. Um, and even on through the 90s, I love all that. But definitely, anytime I see a cover of one I really love is Mike Vallely's Power Edge cover, Ollie over a trash can, the angle it's shot at. It just, I don't know, I can feel like the aggression in that. Any Hensley, old Hensley covers, if I see those, um, I really like those. But, um, Really, man, anybody that's had a cover or has been in a magazine from like 1999 all the way back to like the late 80s, I know that sounds whatever, but that's just my, when I see that old stuff, that's what I, I really like.